What's up guys? Welcome back to Chris Wong Vlogs and I am officially home. I'm back in the motherland and I'm actually at the time I'm recording this video I've actually been back home in England now uh, for about two weeks or so. So sorry for the late update but uh, I've actually spent the last week here in London. I'm actually in a hotel room right now because I've been well I've been spending time with a certain someone who's currently <laughs> right behind me putting her makeup on. Wait, hold on. Steph, come here. Give me your own. This, this is Steph. Say hi. Say, say hi. Hi. <laughs> hold on, wait, hold, hold on. Wait, give me your own. Like this one, this one's been happy to, is happy that I'm home now, right? Yeah. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> okay, Steph can go away now. <laughs> Oh, look, here's the thing. Look, Steph is not quite ready to show herself on camera and show herself to the world on YouTube just yet. But actually, even so, up until this point on my YouTube channel, I've not actually shared any part of my personal life or social life. I've actually kept my videos all cruise ship related, but I know a lot of you have been asking to show a bit more of my life back at home. So I may start venturing into that. Uh, very soon, but that brings me to today's vlog. So I thought it would be cool for me to actually show you guys some of the stuff that I have been getting up to this week whilst I'm here in London. I've actually been doing a lot of cool touristy things and I know for, I know for a lot of my American viewers, I think showing you around London will be pretty cool. So All right guys, so welcome to Bang Bang Food Horse located here in North London. Now before I show you, my lunch for today let me just show you where i am and explain as to what's going on here uh, first of all let's admire the chinese new year decorations at the time i'm recording this we are just days away from the lunar new year but this is where i'm having lunch today welcome to bang bang food hall now basically what you're looking at here is a whole asian food court and basically we have all the different stands here of all the different Asian foods you can have today. And there is literally Chinese food, Malaysian, Japanese, Korean, what else, Vietnamese, everything you could think of. Uh, you just gotta decide uh, what you want from all sorts of dumplings to noodle dishes, rice dishes, desserts, uh, bubble teas, everything is located right here. Okay, food has arrived. So your boy has gone full. Sizzling duck and rice. We have here pork dumplings. And then, Steph, what did you get? I got pork belly, Vietnamese food. Pork belly noodle. We have a feast which we are about to attempt to try and eat now. So, my thoughts on the rice and the sizzling duck is five out of five. Phenomenal. This duck and this sauce is absolutely. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that I've never actually had before on this like kind of hot plate. And then the dumplings, well, let's give it a try. Mm. All right, Oxford Street is looking live. So currently in the UK, we do not have a mask mandate rule anymore. So wearing a face mask is now completely optional however services like restaurants for example they still can ask us to wear a face mask but as you can see most people in the uk now are not wearing face masks anymore boys and girls welcome to the queen's house <laughs> welcome to buckingham palace so for all of my viewers who have heard about this place before but have never had the opportunity to see it themselves. This is the famous Buckingham Palace located here in, is this part of central London? I think this is central London. So I've just stuck my camera through the gate, but this is the best shot I have of Buckingham Palace right here. This is it. And it's such a beautiful day today. There's a nice red in the sky. It looks very fitting. I've got people busking behind me, singing. Yeah, London feels great right now. In fact, the UK feels great. So we are on our way to the London Eye and the River Thames. But before we got there, we came across this old big thing, Mr. Big Ben himself, who was under construction 
unfortunately. Uh, so half the tower is complete right now, but this is the famous clock tower here in London, especially on New Year's Eve when it strikes midnight. And this is the best Instagram shot right here because you want to get a photo next to the red phone box and get Big Ben in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. Welcome to the River Thames. Welcome to the London Eye. And this is probably one of the nicest evenings I've ever seen in London. Again, I know I've said that multiple times. But look at the sky right now. Look at all the people. Look how calm everything is. There's no wind. I mean, except for that siren, but... So we are now directly underneath the London Eye. Very cool shot here. Lighting again is awesome. Nice clear blue sky. Walking along the River Thames. And this is the entire area where the New Year's Eve fireworks would also be. So whenever it's televised or if you've happened to have seen it on YouTube, New Year's Eve fireworks in London is always along this area right here. This evening has now brought us over to Chinatown. We are currently on our way to Leicester Square, but we thought we had to stop by just to see what the Chinese New Year decorations were like. And look at this. It's so pretty. And they have this going throughout the whole of Chinatown. Ah, all right guys, I hope you can hear me. It's a little loud in here, but we are in a restaurant called Sticks and Sushi now, located here just off Leicester Square in London. Sushi meal for tonight. We have some sort of avocado roll. What do we have here? Salmon nigiri. Salmon nigiri, or a whole bunch of nigiris. And then we have this one too. What's this one? Salmon sashimi. Salmon sashimi. Sashimi, nigiri, sushi roll, and this drink. I don't know if you can see this from the top. It's like the most colourful thing I've ever seen. A purple, what is it? Purple rain. Purple rain. Cheers. We've got a shot in the light. So this is the sushi roll we had. We have shrimp inside, avocado on top. This is the nigiri that we selected. And then this is the sashimi. All high quality sushi here. Let's see if it compares to Izumi on board the ship. So we have now made our way to Leicester Square and tonight we are going to the Odeon which is famously known for the red carpet events whenever a movie premiere is on and tonight we will be watching Spider-Man because I have yet to see it yet so I am very much looking forward to seeing the movie Okay, oh, 6.30 now, my 12 years are older, yes Oh, for two people. Oh, okay guys, welcome to our restaurant for today. So for lunch, we are at Eng Hour. Here we have an assortment of interesting Japanese dishes. A lot of raw sushi, sashimis, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't even really know. But I am very, I'm very, I, I like ex experimenting with my food and just trying out different things. So this is going to be very, very interesting to say the least. So I have now finished my first entire row. Yeah, this is a really interesting way of eating because you get to try a whole bunch of different dishes that you wouldn't normally try and you get to decide what you like and what you don't like. And Steph is enjoying hers as well. <laughs> you like yours? Yep, very yummy. Good. Lunch was very interesting. You know what, when it comes to experimenting with dish different dishes like that, it kind of reminds me of Wonderland in the, on the ship. Um, you know, where you get kind of all funky dishes to experiment and try. Um, yeah, I'm glad I tried it. Experience was interesting and I got to experiment with some new dishes that I never had before. Um, would I eat there again? I don't know, but it was definitely worth trying at least once. But anyway, right now, as you can see behind me, I am in London's Piccadilly Circus. This is a very popular spot here in central London. Kind of similar vibes to Times Square in New York City with all the screens. 
uh, Leicester Square is actually just a bit further down here where we were at the cinema the other day. Steph basically wanted to come to this place because of these things. <laughs> it's so cute! Basically, alright, you explain what it is then. I... It's a macaroon ice cream. So the, the outside shell is a macaroon and then there's a cookies and cream ice cream in the middle. Okay, so yeah, normally not my thing, but we're doing it now. Oh, it's hard. I need to wait for it to melt. Don't ask <laughs> the ice cream is pretty good to be fair. But it's hello. Alright, you know what? It tastes pretty good. Maybe this is my thing now. Okay, so this is the first time I'm ever having Korean barbecue. <laughs> so a little out of my comfort zone, but you can see a whole bunch of foods at the sides. We've got raw meat over here. So there's beef and there's pork on the hot pot already, or whatever you call this thing. Grill. Oh, the hot, the hot grill. A whole bunch of side dishes here. This is this is kimchi. I've never seen that before. I've never tried it until today. And yeah, we're gonna start cooking some food. I'm excited to see what my first Korean barbecue experience is going to be like. What we need to do is get our pork that's now cooked in the wrap. What do you got? You got this one? Yep. What's this one? Just spring onions? Yep. Oh, you can dip your pork in some sauce. Well, that's Dip's my pork in the sauce. <laughs> Now it's time to cook the beef. I'm very much looking forward to this. Guys, honestly, I wish you could smell this. The food experimentation continues and we are having hot pot. Not something I have too often, but I am very intrigued to see how today's lunch occurs. You can see a whole bunch of ingredients are now on the table. And basically, we are waiting for this to heat up and then we are going to start cooking our food. We have our meats and a whole bunch of vegetables. Yep, Steph basically picked everything because I didn't really know what I was going to go for. So, I guess we just start throwing things in. So let's get some meat here, veggie over here. What else do we need? Noodles here. And then, you can tell I have no idea what I'm doing. And then the food's cooking here. Look at it. Amazing. I'm going to demonstrate how we cook our beef. So you get your beef here, dip it in, and it literally cooks in seconds. Cook it as much or as little as you like. I do like mine a little raw. And then, this is good to eat. Wait, 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 one, two. I already oh, you sorry, yeah. carry on. <laughs> Welcome to another lunch, and today we are having a steak, my first steak dinner in London. We are a place, we are in a place called Flat Iron. This is a flat iron steak, medium rare. We both got the same, and we have these cool knives, or I guess this is what you would call a flat iron to cut the steak. This is medium rare. Okay, you want my honest opinion? Chops grill on the ship is better. Steph, you enjoying it? Yep. Yep. 
cut, cut into it and then dip it in the sauce mm, nice and pink very nice eat it eat it eat it how is it yummy yummy I'm, you're not you I, I've still cut your head all I can see is Steph's Steph doesn't have a face welcome to London's King's Cross train station and this is the train station where Harry Potter comes to get to platform nine and three quarters to make his way to Hogwarts and there's actually oh yeah I mean some of you may not have even even been aware that this is a real train station in London and there's actually some Harry Potter attractions and things inside it does look a little different to how it is in the movie but remember the movie is over like what 10 15 years ago so this is how King's Cross Station looks today a lot more modern and this is it this is the Harry Potter section in the back of the station look at this Harry Potter nine and three quarters platform and everyone's taking their photos next to the trolley I'm gonna try and get a better shot if you're a big fan of the films you will know that there's a section where they run through the wall to get to the other side to get to platform nine and three quarters and they're actually taking photos here so this is a better angle here look everyone's taking their photos looks like they're going through the wall and right next door is the Harry Potter nine and three quarters shop well it's basically the same as the shops that you see at uh, Universal Studios I'm trying to speak quite loudly because there is the Harry Potter music playing in the background and I don't want to obviously get that copyright strike but yeah like I said very similar in fact it's probably the same stuff that they sell at the Harry Potter shop in Orlando but there's some cool things to look at if you want a wand or a Harry Potter robe Harry Potter chocolate frog butter beer yeah it's all here look chocolate frogs just like the movie 32 pounds for a wand which one do you like all right we're in a place to get some bubble tea this is what it is over here the milk and the brown sugar well, we have to mix this before we drink it right 18 times you have to mix it what, like this? Yep. 18 times yep Try it. Brown sugar milk tea. Mmm. The balls at the top. At the bottom. Right, I can get on board with this. Welcome to Trafalgar Square, another popular tourist spot in London. I'm not really sure what the monuments are of, but this is a cool spot just to see some cool fountains. Uh, we've got people playing music. Look at these guys skateboarding. It's a giant, I don't know, whipped cream and a cherry over here. Yeah, there's lots going on here. I'm not even really sure what everything is, but definitely a cool spot to take some photos and just I don't know just admire what's happening around you I'll tell you what though sometimes it is quite nice just to be a tourist in my home country I sometimes take things for granted being from England and being from the UK and I sometimes forget that things like this is actually quite interesting for me to show you guys so right now me and Steph are at Harrods and we are at the Tiffany Blue Box Cafe. Yes, I didn't even I didn't even know Tiffany did food. But this is their fancy cafe that they have here in the Harrods department store. But look at this restaurant. Or cafe. Very, very blue. Alright, so afternoon tea in England. I've never done this before, but it is a proper British thing. We're about to get a whole bunch of teas, sandwiches, scones. This is all part of new experiences for me, and I'm very lucky that Steph asked me to come with her. This is her birthday meal. Oh, look at this. Things are coming out. 
All right. Thank you. What's this? Amuse-bouche. Amuse-bouche. Amuse the only reason why I know what this is is from friends. Ooh, tea has arrived. First of all, I just want to say how nice the Tiffany uh, cup and saucer and teapot set is. The, the colour matches the ambiance of the restaurant. Very nice. High quality English breakfast tea here with milk. And Steph, what did you get? I got a latte. And the sandwiches have arrived. Now, all I can remember from the menu was one of them is salmon, one of them is cucumber, and then the other two I can't even really remember. It's coronation chicken and then egg and butter. Chicken and one's egg. But this is by far one of the most fanciest sandwiches I've ever seen in my life. Well, that might be the best tea I've ever had <laughs> in my life. You did that in your main dining room tea. Main dining room tea is pretty good on the ship, but this is pretty special, I'm not gonna lie. Cheers. Look at what has just arrived <laughs> on our table. So this is the dessert section. So what you're looking at here is scones. Let me get in focus. And then you're gonna spread jam and raspberry and cream. And then up above we have a whole bunch of cheesecakes and chocolates and I think there's an apple. Yeah, that one's apple crumble. This is very nice. Look at the size of this thing. It took up the whole table. A popular debate amongst us Brits is when you eat your scone, do you put the cream on first and then the jam or do you put the jam on first and then the cream? I'm thinking I should have put the cream on first because it was actually easier, it was actually quite difficult for me to spread. Tea and scone, an amazing combination. Well, as you can see, we are halfway through and I am actually very comfortably full right now. Steph, are you full? So full already. Uh, how are we going to get through all this? We still need to eat this dinosaur egg. <laughs> I don't know if this is a dinosaur egg. It's chocolate. It's basically uh, chocolate. It's so cute. Yeah, the scones are actually very filling. Um, but yeah, overall, very good meal. Why, wait, why are we here? You explain. <laughs> this was a birthday gift. Not, not from me. <laughs> she invited me as the guest. So. And I chose Chris Wong to be my oh, guest. I guess, I'm, I guess I'm lucky. I guess I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, my first experience of English afternoon tea. Pretty good. All right, guys. So we are now in a restaurant, a famous restaurant. You guys may have heard of this, Din Tai Fung. Me and Steph have come here for lunch today for some authentic Chinese dumplings. The main one we're going to get, of course, is the Xiao Long Bao, or in, or in Cantonese, it's a Xiao Long Bao. Xiao Long Bao. And uh, they even give you instructions of how to eat it correctly. Correctly. <laughs> So I am going to study this now and wait for our food to arrive. The cool thing about the restaurant is they have a section right in the middle of the restaurant where you can see everyone actually making all of the dumplings, freshly made to order. Okay, so dumplings have arrived. We've got our pork ones up here, pork and prawn, and then the Shaolong Bao's are here. If I studied the card correctly, we're supposed to dip this in the vinegar, bite the top off first, let it air out, drink the soup that's inside, and then eat the whole thing. Okay. Oh, the soup's spilling out. We'll bite the top off, we've got the dumpling inside, the soup. So this is your perfect Shaolong Bao right here. You can see the pork inside, vinegar in the spoon. Oh, this is so good. Cheers. Mm. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed you. I hope you enjoyed following me around London and just showing you some of the things that I got up to. Uh, so what's gonna happen for me next? Well, some of you have already seen on Twitter and my Facebook page that I will be back in 
Florida in the next couple of weeks or so. And a lot of you are wondering, Chris, why are you going back to Florida? Are you going back to a cruise ship already? Well, I guess you will just have to wait and see into the next video. I like leaving you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Gives you a bit of a reason to come back. Anyway, smash the thumbs up button, uh, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you're brand new, and I will see you in my next video. Say bye, Steph. Bye. <laughs>